Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome to your second half of November readings with me. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for a personal reading with me and you can find the link in the description box below and I'll see you there. Let's get started. The third week for you, dear Pisces, you are dealing with the feminine energy. This feminine energy can be your daughter, it can be your colleague, it can be your better half, it can be your girlfriend or it can be a, a lady you are going to meet this week you are it can also be your um, younger sister it can be a teacher for the Pisces students this energy is uh, what you're dealing with this energy is a very positive energy because she is very giving uh, she's very sorted out in her head, very balanced kind of a personality. I also see my dear Pisces in the third week of November is that there is something regarding money matters that you're sorting out. So you will be uh, working on your finances, uh, trying to see how you can make your finances better also attention is going to be quite a lot on your finances is what I see. Some Pisces can get opportunities to uh, make some side hustles, side income from this feminine energy is what I see. I also see that Pisces themselves can be very helping, uh, you know, in their helping mode at this point of time. They might just meet someone who needs help, a kind of a friend who is in trouble and then they might help them either by being just by being by their side or by, uh, you know, helping them financially with whatever the capacities that they have, they'll help them. But I see some kind of opportunity my dear Pisces coming uh, for us I would say uh, through a feminine um, figure a feminine energy and this energy is very much that emotions are one side and job and work and profession is on one side no mixing up of both the things and that's quite a nice thing to see because when we mix up our profession and our emotion it can create a mess right so this is the kind of energy you're going to be dealing with my dear Pisces and yes money matters are taking the center stage also for you is what I see and for my Pisces students they will be having a teacher who is so nice and so loving and so kind with the who is just investing in your future is this feminine energy that I'm seeing for some of you it can be something regarding your daughter it can be some opportunity that your daughter is getting or you're meeting your daughter or you're meeting your sister or you're discussing something with your sister that is really important uh, or you're meeting up or you're discussing with this kind of an energy in the third week who is very uh, you know who is a very honest kind of an energy, an honest person, there for you kind of a person is what I see. And then we go to the last week, my dear Pisces. This is such a beautiful energy. The sun is shining upon you. For some of you, it can be really, really that it's very, very warm. Uh, literally, the sun is shining. But otherwise, metaphorically, I see that the sun is shining upon you means... You are in the spotlight, my dear Pisces. You are uh, getting a lot of attention, a lot of love. Uh, there is something very positive also that is happening in the last week. Most probably you have done something very well, a job well done. Is getting recognition, my dear Pisces, is what I see. I also see uh, for Pisces in the, in the last week is that... Um, there can be uh, some kind of an award or recompense or reward that is coming uh, to you, my dear Pisces, in the last week. However, take care of your temper because you might be, you know, a bit angry uh, or uh, you might be feeling like, oh, you know, something is a bit, you know, like uh, troubling you and uh, most probably you're tired or you're overworked and then you know just a little bit of something and you can just blast on your loved ones that's what Pisces do they show they are very calm but when it comes to the near and dear ones then Pisces can fly off the handle <laughs> very very fast is the really the near and dear ones who get their uh, wrath and their fury upon them uh, as them <laughs> they will tell you <laughs> in secret <laughs> so this can happen so just control your anger because you know we say things in anger and then we regret in 
leisure, my dear Pisces. Okay, don't be over sarcastic. That's our default. We can be over critical or sarcastic when we are not fine. You know, then we just want to <laughs> just want to make the other person feel what we are feeling actually, and that can happen. But otherwise, I see that love is on the cards. Also, when it comes to love, it is really, really going to be very intense uh, kind of an experience with your loved one. Um, the, when it comes to your work, as as I said, you're shining. Uh, finances are getting better gradually, and those of you who suffer from any um, pathology that involves your blood, you know, then you need to be careful, okay? And blood pressures, especially some can have high blood pressure, low blood pressure. Just survey that, okay, and take care of yourself uh, on that level all right my dear Pisces and I also see that uh, if you want to achieve something if you want to do some presentations my dear Pisces students especially um, and uh, whoever is working then the last week you are really shining bright so this is the good time to face the audience face your colleagues face the class and just you know uh, do your presentation very very well so it's very positive uh, last week of November is what I see. Just one thing can be uh, the problem is your temper. It can spoil everything. Don't get into ego or, or go on an ego ride. That is not going to be good for you, my dear Pisces. Okay, control that part and everything is going to be fine. So thank you, my dear Pisces, for listening. Please do like, share and comment. And I shall see you in the last month of the year. Wow, we're almost there. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless. Bye.